Hi, Carrie Lane here, and I'm at the Los Angeles Asia Pacific Film Festival. The opening night film is Searching. We spoke with the director and quite a few of the cast members, as well as other filmmakers in attendance. Stay tuned for those interviews. This is cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, congratulations. You premiered at Sundance, and now you're the opening night film for Los Angeles Asian Pacific yeah. Film Festival. How does that feel? Great. It feels great. I mean, the group of people that made this movie were like a bunch of recent USC grads who were just like, let's find a way to make a movie. It was like five people in an edit room for like two years, finding a way to like tell the story and like crossing our fingers that somebody would like it. So to have a premiere at Sundance, to like premiere it here in LA to like have people be talking about it and like have a full line here it's just like unreal this is like literally out of a dream so glad to be here what is it about this festival that stands out to you because it's an Asian film festival mm -hmm. what about it stands out to you I mean the reason I think we're really proud to be here tonight is the entire film was you know made by like a lot of a lot of Asian Americans in the cast uh, a lot of I mean, these guys uh, Sev the co-writer producers from Armenia the Natalie Kasabian is from Armenia uh, I could go through the list, like, the, the film is such a diverse group of people in front of and behind the camera, and I think, like, the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival is just, like, a perfect place just because it represents all of that, too. So a multicultural uh, place to show the film oh, yeah, and behind the camera on screen, that's yeah. great. Yeah. And then, with this festival and screening tonight, what do you hope people take away from your film? Uh, I, hope, I hope I hope people just feel like they were they watched a really really good suspense film and hopefully forget the fact that it takes place on a computer screen or it takes place it is told on the devices that we kind of use every day to communicate. If we do that, I think we did a good job. Um, our goal is to sort of like tell a very classic story in a very unconventional way. So if you could focus on the story and kind of like think about it after how it was told, I think we got to win. But um, if you really want to support it, just go see it in, August, in theaters August third. Uh, actually, one more question too. Yeah. You mentioned the different devices it's filmed on. Yeah. Was that a form of necessity for cinematography or a storytelling device? It's a storytelling uh, device. Yeah, it's a storytelling device. The whole movie sort of takes place on iPhones, on MacBooks, on XP computers. It's just told on the ways that we all communicate, and as our main characters sort of interact on these on these devices. So, so it's a complete storytelling device. Do you feel that was any particular challenge? Uh, yes, yes. It added about a year and a half to the entire process. Uh, it, yeah, it was an absolute technical nightmare to make this movie. We edited it on two IMAX, computers that were crashing every like 20 minutes, and like we'd be losing 20% progress. So it took a long time, but uh, at the end of the day, we were like, I think we're doing something no one's seen before, so it kind of kept us going. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. I'm Carrie Lane with the Popcorn Talk.